Well, Harry, we're here at Urban Surf. I thought we'd connect you know, two of your passions, surfing and rugby league, and tell us what role did the ocean and, and the waves play in your childhood? Yeah, I was pretty lucky growing up that my old boys' family were from uh, Port Macquarie and where I grew up, Yapoon, is pretty coastal, so got into surfing at a bit of a young age and then, yeah, it's always been a little bit of an outlet for myself and being down here now in Melbourne and having the wave feel, it's pretty good to get out and, yeah, get away from footy. Growing up in, in Yapoon, what was it like growing up in that area? I was pretty lucky growing up. I sort of had the best of both worlds with pretty central to the beach, but grew up on, like, 40 acres. Dad's side was footy and surfing and mum's side was all sort of country, so I had a bit of the bit of best of both worlds. At the age of 12, you suffered a, a life-threatening staph infection. You know, how did you handle that through that period? Um, yeah, that was a bit of a scary time. Not so much myself, because I was pretty out of it. I was pretty unaware, more so my family, and go through, I think. Can't really pinpoint why or, or where I picked it up from, but yeah, I think they just said if I wasn't so fit, I would have been uh, brown bread, but. Really? Yeah, I, I wasn't aware at the time, and. Looking back on it, like, it doesn't really phase me too much, but probably for my family, and yeah, it was probably a bit of a harder time for them. What was the recovery to get through that? Uh, so I had to cut out bone in my shoulder where the staff got into the, into the bone. I had three surgeries on it. I sort of had a year off footy to let the bone repair, and my old boy was pretty, he just said, mate, even if, you, if it's meant to be an eight months recovery, just take the whole year off and let it all settle, and, Sort of had that. That's where I sort of found me proper love for surfing and, and lifesaving and, and did plenty of that growing up. And 12 months later, you, you had another setback. You had a, an accident, broke yeah. your leg. I probably got back, played, I think, two games of footy again. And I was, you know, I was stoked to be back playing footy. And we're on like a surf lifesaving on patrol. We're doing a roving patrol, so we're going up the beach. Uh, we ended up flipping it and just landed on my leg. And yeah, so that was another year. but. The same thing, I sort of, yeah, I was lucky I had surfing and even life-saving as well to fall back on and do that away from footy, which, yeah, gave me a sort of a new appreciation for footy. So there was surf life-saving, there was surfing, and there was rugby league. Did you always dream of becoming an NRL player? Um, yeah, pretty well. I think from a young age I knew, I dreamt of it. I didn't, I didn't know what it took to get to the NRL or I thought everyone could just do it if they wanted to do it. I always had sort of a mindset that I wanted to be an NRL player and I'm pretty lucky to be here now. He gets it back to Grant. Oh, I think he might have a try. Harry Grant again. Harry! Harry scored. So what do you love most about surfing? I think for me it's sort of just sort of like a turn off switch, get away from footy and everything and you sort of feel pretty relaxed in the ocean. I kind of feel like it's it can be competitive too, you know, you get a good wave and always want to sort of be better or one-up it. You sort of switch off and get to chill out away from footy and that. Same time, you still got that little bit of a competitive edge. Well, you've been practicing for the last month out here, so should we go and have a wave? <laughs> I reckon we should get into it, mate. Thanks for the chat. <laughs> battle, battle, battle! You're Thanks for lending me the board. Mate, any time. Awesome, sir. Uh, good luck. Thanks, Bill. Cheers, mate.